welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Still Reserve. Special K. And I'm Radar. And tonight we're going to be doing uh, Skull Splitter. Uh, it is by the Orkney Brewing. Brewery. Craft, handcrafted in small batch. 8.5% alcohol by volume. Authentic uh, Orcadian. Orcadian? Hell. 5,000 years in the making. It says so right on so the bottle. Did they just make their own beer up because it says they just put work in front of It sounds like, yeah, it, it sounds like it was not actually 5,000 years in the making. But who am I to claim that it is not? Very expensive beer. Uh, this is $4. Yeah. For um, a 11.2 ounce bottle. There's a, there's a liquor store where I live where you can get a four pack for 20 bucks. Uh, uh, well, that would make sense if I paid $4 for... $5. Yeah, I paid $4 for a single. That's what I mean. Usually, usually singles are more expensive. Uh, it is a nice brown uh, sweet tea color, American sweet tea. Wow, there's there's almost no carbonation in this at all. Not a lot of carbonation. It's a little cloudy. Uh, a little light khaki-ish head. Yeah, it smells good. It smells uh, uh, a little musty, uh, a little roasty. I don't some know. dark fruits in there. I don't know if this smells like a five dollar beer. Oh, it better taste like a five dollar beer. Woo! Pretty good. But is it five dollars still? Got a nice hoppiness up front. You get to, uh, like a little bit of a. What's oh, a very like sweet on the end? Uh, yeah, nice malty finish. Very sweet on the end. You get some uh, like some dark fruit fruit foods. You get some dark foods in there. Some dark foods. Yeah. Some dark fruits. Some dark beets. Dark fruits, kind of like dark a fruit. maybe like a prune or something or fig or. Um, yeah, kind of like a Belgian yeasty thing going on there. Um, um. Oh, it's very sweet on the end, like almost sugary candy. I don't sweet. think it's that sweet on the end. It's, it's very sweet. Um, it's heavy. It's very heavy. I you're like not it. gonna chug one of these. No, that I'm. Ideally, you're not gonna chug one of these. Um, I've, I've been up since about eight this morning. Can't tell it's eight point five percent. That that's true. Um, it's good. It's not five dollars or four dollars good. I agree. It's mostly the just incredible sweetness on the end for me. I don't think it's that sweet on the end, but it does have sweetness on the end, but not that sweet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate this. I'm going to give it a. Uh, I'm going to give it a six and a half, and I'm docking a half point for price. So I would have gave it a seven, but I'm going to give it a six and a half. Uh, it's still good. Would I recommend it? Um, if you're into like European style uh, darker uh, beers, this is kind of like that. But you radar. Uh, I think I'm going to give this like a five and a half. It's this is not worth five dollars. I'm going to go ahead and say it now. You heard it here first, folks. This is not worth five dollars. This is not. Um, it's too sweet on the beginning, or it's too sweet on the end. It's it's not a bad beer. It's just I don't. I, I would not pay five dollars for this. I'm uh. I'm go ahead and give this a six. It's all right. You know, it's above average, obviously. But the price, I'm not paying. Close to five dollars for a single, yeah. and then twenty for a four pack. No, that's ridiculous. You know, uh, would I recommend it for the price that it is? I'm gonna say no. So, gotta agree. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you would like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Hello. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Still Reserved. I am Radar.